This is a tutorial on how to import and edit data in either CIT distributions or CIT correlations, both of which are part of the CIT suite of data visualization and manipulation tools developed by the Science, Biostatistics, and Cancer Education Project. CIT allows data to be imported from a variety of sources, including Excel spreadsheets, Google spreadsheets, and plain text files. No matter what the source of a data set is, there are a few simple formatting rules which must be followed. Data is formatted as rows of entries. The top row designates the titles of each category, and any row after the first contains data. The leftmost column can contain labels for data points. A description of a data set may be included in a spreadsheet by entering text beginning with an asterisk in any cell below the last row of data. See it allows you to copy and paste data directly from a spreadsheet. To do so, select the cells in your spreadsheet which contain the data and copy them to your clipboard. Now go to see it and click the add a worksheet button in the data sets menu on the left side of the screen. In the menu that appears, paste your data into the large text box. Now give your data set a name. And check first column is label if you've included labels in your data set. Finally, click load worksheet from form. Now your data has been imported into see it and you can drag it to a graph to view it. If you would rather not paste your data into see it, you can load data from a Google spreadsheet by giving see it your spreadsheet's URL. However, your spreadsheet must be published to the web in order for see it to access it. You can publish a Google spreadsheet by going to the file menu and selecting publish to the web. In the Publish to the Web menu, click the Start Publishing button. Now, copy the URL of your spreadsheet from the Publish to the Web menu or from your browser's address bar. Now go to see it, click the Add a Worksheet button, click the Load Worksheet from URL button at the bottom of the menu, paste your URL into the text box, and click Submit. and your data has been imported. It is important to note that when importing a spreadsheet by pasting a URL, see it assumes the leftmost column in your data always contains labels. A third option allows you to generate a persistent link to see it, which will automatically load your data from a Google spreadsheet. To do this, first navigate to the see it home page on the SBCE site. Now, click the Custom Data URL Generator link. If your data has been published to the web as described previously, you may paste its URL into the text box at the top of the screen. Now press Enter, and links to both correlations and distributions will be shown that will load your data. If you wish to load, either see it correlations or see it distributions with only your data and not the default data included in see it click the load see it with only the data in the links above checkbox you may paste several google spreadsheet urls click the add your another url button to create more text boxes for pasting click the remove url button next to each te additional checkbox to remove it Now we've covered three ways to get your data in to see it, but what about editing or removing data that has already been imported? To do this, click the pencil icon below the title of the data set you wish to change. Simple changes to data can be made by editing the text in the large text box and then clicking Load Worksheet from Form again. You'll now see a data point that I've edited. If you are making extensive changes, it is better to edit the data in a spreadsheet, as it is easy to make a mistake when editing the raw text. 
To delete a worksheet, go to the pencil menu again and click the delete button at the bottom of the menu. Say OK in the prompt that appears. To see even more ways of saving and editing data, see the advanced editing tutorial. That's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.